with Lionel taking their time making these Truck Series diecasts, I decided to make my own. Here's Ross Chastain's 2019 Car Shield Chevrolet Silverado. Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Diecast Buffet here again, back with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today's, well, it's not really a car, it's a truck. Yeah, uh, good old Lionel Racing is taking their sweet time uh, releasing these truck diecasts. So I said, screw it, let's make a freaking truck. A uh, little uh, thing about this. This was actually the, the Biffle 51 truck, believe it or not. So this thing did a complete 180. Um, you know, I'm a Biffle fan, but look, I, I, that was the only truck in the store. I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> so here is Ross Chastain's 2019 Car Shield. It's kind of funny, Car Shield, yeah, it's on a truck. <laughs> uh, Car Shield uh, Chevrolet Silverado. Now, this is a um, this is a truck that actually won a race. Uh, I believe it was Gateway. I, I, obviously, I, I can't watch the truck races because they race on Friday nights. I got to work Friday nights. It is what it is. But um, I believe he actually won in this truck uh, last season for Nice Motorsports. But I tell you what, man. Uh, this was a super fun uh, build. This is the first ever truck die cast I've made. I've never made a custom truck die cast. I said, look, everyone else is making them. I'm going to make it. And, uh, of course, <laughs> somehow, someway, I was able to, uh, you know, build this. I mean, it's it's rough around the edges. But I tell you what, man, I am very proud of it. Um, it's not the best custom. There's a lot of flaws with it. Obviously, you could see the, the skirts down here, but I would have painted the skirts black, but according to the actual truck itself, the whole wrap's supposed to get go down. I should have just took, you know, some paint and touched it up. Uh, the front is a little bit weird, but uh, more on that a little bit later, but uh, this is the first ever truck custom die cast I made. And I'll tell you what, these little pieces right here, these little side pieces, I tell you what, man, those things are such a pain to get locked back in. I mean, because they're separate than this. This window is all one piece, right? The front and the back, right? But these little pieces here, they come off. They're little triangles, man. I tell you, those things are a pain to get back in that truck. Good God. And then over here to the nose of this Silverado, we got a uh, car shield there. Of course, it's not the most crisp uh, decal image. Obviously, I've made these decals myself. You know, I'm not designing them, but I printed them. Uh, you know, got to love the, the cheap equipment, but, uh, <laughs> I got the Silverado nose here. Now, look, um, I'm still learning the whole, uh, decal sizes, and I realized that the Silverado, like, grill was just, was just a hair small, right? Um, so, well, this one almost lined up, this one did, I kind of had to just, like, just, just put it right in the middle, because, uh, this part was already connected to this, and this part was already connected to this. I couldn't do anything about it. I didn't have a whole bunch of, um, you know, like spare pieces I could just, you know, cut and just put it together. So I just put it there. Look, it's the first truck die cast I've ever made. Um, whenever I decide to make another one, which I hope to do someday, um, I hope to make it a whole lot better. But again, it's my first truck cut, uh, my first truck custom. So uh, take that for what you will. Um, that's a, oh, that's a that's a big oopsie right there. Look at that. Look at that decal piece right there just chilling there. It's freaking flat. There we go. Now I can actually get it, you know, uh, pressed against the valence there. Wow, that's that's a oof. Probably like this again on this side. But, um, yeah, so you got uh, Silverado there. You got the 45. You got the screwed up Silverado decals. I know. Uh, it's pretty screwed up. But, again, it's custom. You got Move, Adabrock, Sunoco, Black uh, Splitter here. Uh, I love these truck molds, man. They are fun to work with. And then over here to the left side of this Silverado, you got Ross Chastain right there above the driver's side window. And of course, you know, it's super small to read it. But then again, when I, when I made this template, the template itself was kind of like an oddball template, right? It wasn't the exact ones that I'm, I, the, my, the sizes and whatnot for the trucks are usually supposed to go by. I was still learning a lot of it, um, you know, how to size different parts. But I tell you what, man. For the next time, I will, I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going to try, it'll be much better than this, I think, but it was, I just wanted to build a simple truck, and I remember I was, I was looking around, you know, my store, and it was about to go on vacation, it was a couple of days, I was like, man, my, my, my COT decals weren't here, you know, I've been, I've been waiting months for those, luckily they came in, like, last week, but, uh, uh this is back in early May, and, uh, I was like, man, I need something to do, you know, I got, I got no decal sheets, I need something to do, Guess what? They had the Greg Biffle Texas truck. Already reviewed that. So I'll link down below for that. Um, but you know what? It was a truck there. You know, $5. I got it. I was like, screw it. We're going to make a custom out of it. And I want to do something simple. And sure enough, 
Ross Chastain was the easy answer because I'm a Chastain guy. That's just me. I uh, got good year. You got uh, Gander Outdoors. Speaking of Gander Outdoors, I am extremely intrigued to see if the uh, the new truck summer releases are going to have that Gander Outdoors wind, windscreen. Because I tell you what, man, a lot, and I mean a lot of people, are going to bulk order those babies just for that windshield. I'm telling you, man, they are going to bulk order them. They'll be able to put them on uh, the Authentics DMP trucks. I'm just saying, guys. Those windshields are going to get very popular very quick. Uh, you got NASCAR race truck with Kenex or RCS, which is, I don't even know what that is. I uh, got Simpson, uh, Holly E5, Lincoln Welders Mobile One. Got the 45 there. Very nice indeed. You got carshield.com and nothing on the right rear quarter panel. You know, remember when I said this is a custom truck? Well, guess what? You can definitely see this is a custom truck. Um, yeah, the whole back end screwed up here. I'll be honest. Once again, the decal sizes look I, I couldn't cut out the top because I would have missed the tailgate handle. I didn't want to do that. And I couldn't cut out the bottom because obviously got the bow tie there. And uh, this is not clear decals. Um, I, I made the mistake of printing this with uh, white decal paper. So this stuff is a slightly different uh, color than the actual base uh, spray job. But it, it, it just it's a thicker, you know, uh, paper or whatnot. So it does look kind of weird. But um. Usually when you build a white uh, base vehicle, you just use a clear decal sheet. Obviously didn't do that. Um, again, I've made some mistakes with this die cast. It's okay. Um, we, gotta, we gotta start somewhere. It's it's entirely different mold, man. It's entirely different mold. Something definitely out of the element, but I was able to get the spoiler painted. We get the bow tie there. You got the 45, you got carshield.com, and you got Silverado right there on the tailgate. And then over here to the right side of this Chevrolet. I mean, once again, you got the, the whole side skirts. Again, the whole wrap was supposed to go all the way down to the bottom. Obviously, you didn't do that. If I moved it down anymore, you would cut off the carshield.com, so I kind of raised it up. I should have just, just took some blue paint and just touched up the bottom. I didn't do it. I already clear-coated it, and you can see right here, the roof was a little too big. So, you got the Chastain um, name banner, which is honestly not even on the actual uh, post there. Again, it's a custom, dude. You know, don't, 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 don't throw rocks at me. <laughs> oh, Lord. But, uh... Yeah, I, I learned a lot of things about um, how to size the, you know, the decals and whatnot with this build. I will say, though, the deck lid over here, the, the trunk bed, I will say, though, the this decal over here on the, the bed cover, that's actually clear. Uh, I made, I made, I printed one with the white decal paper and I printed one with the clear decal paper. Look, I was making a crap load of customs. I was just trying to hurry up and get them made and, um, yeah. So I started off with that, and then I screwed up trying to put the side decals on with the clear decal paper. Luckily, I already printed one with the white decal paper, and that's why I went with that. Uh, but yeah, definitely, I wish I would have touched up the bottom a little bit more here. I think that would have looked a whole lot better. And then over here to the roof of this Silverado, um, we got the 45 there. And it's this was very uh, difficult to wrap because I was worried when I was, I was cutting out the decals. Like, oh god, is this actually going to fit on the truck? And I was thinking, no, it's not. It's not going to fit. I'm going to have to wait all day, print a whole other sheet, have to waste all the ink, everything, and then, you know, make it again. Uh, luckily, it, it just barely fit. But, I mean, you can see the, the edges on it. It's crinkled up. It looked, again, when you make, um, use white decal paper, it's thicker. So, the slightest blemishes, you know, anything like that, it really does pick it up pretty well. Uh, so, definitely, I should have used clear decal paper. It would have been smarter, but obviously, I didn't do that. And over here on the back, I mean, it, it, it gets really bad here. I mean, this thing, whole thing was crinkled up. It didn't want to stay down either, so I had to put some uh, some pre-coat on that. And uh, you got the, the rear window here. And you can see how, like, these little posts here, these little triangles, little bootleg shapes, um, they got, like, some, it looks like chew marks. What that actually is, is me having to, like, literally, like, press these things into the bed cover to get this thing to actually lock on because what it is is it's got two prongs it's not part of the window it's entirely different you got a prong here that fits into the back window and you got two prongs you see those little spots there two prongs not two pock you got two prongs uh they fit into the bed cover right but when you clear coat it guess what that little the little pegs where it's supposed to fit in those things get clogged up so you gotta chip all that out then you gotta take the plastic you gotta warp it down to make sure it fits and you gotta jam it in there it doesn't want to fit it's plastic it bends it's a mess so you keep pressing it with like an exacto knife and all kinds of other jazz you know trying to hammer it in there 
course it's going to kind of chip up the little panels here obviously the next time i do it i'll have a little bit more experience but yeah definitely uh, you got to be very careful with that because if you break one of those prongs off you're going to have to manually glue it good luck doing that obviously the car shield logo over here the clear decal paper it's already started yellowing so um i'm curious to see how the the white decal paper that's actually printed white i wonder how that's going to yellow and i wonder uh how it would yellow compared to this of course this one was placed on just like maybe a day or two before the white decal paper so who knows how quickly the uh the white decal paper and the clear decal paper will yellow well, thank you all so much for watching the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up it helps out the channel tremendously of course go ahead and check me out on instagram at diecast buffet and if you like some nascar diecast racing yeah diecast racing tune in august 2nd the NASCAR Doorlast Cup Series makes its return to Diecast Buffet, the most original NASCAR Diecast Series ever. Uh, guess what? It's coming back August 2nd, Season 3, Daytona 500. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be 40 car fields. It's going to have an all-star race, dual race. I mean, it's going to be incredible, guys. Tune in, Unscripted Diecast Racing, August 2nd. Uh, anyways, folks, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about this custom down below in the comment section. And with all that being said, guys, hope you're having a great one. Diecast Buffet, signing off.